Okay, so I'm connected to the new Raspberry Pi and Hotspot. Nothing set up yet for my digital setup, so I need to give it the default password, which is Raspberry. Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this now. I'm going to set this up as a D Star Hotspot. So I've already got Pi Star. I'm going to call this one Pi Star 2. This is my call sign. This is the frequency it's going to listen at. Simplex. Latitude and longitude I'll get to later. I'll put Los Lunas in here. This we can just do qrz.com db kg5 OCW. They got something. Everybody wants to look up who you are. If you make this node public, I think that's how that works. Time zone. We want to make it. Denver will work for Mountain. English US. I'll leave all this stuff private. I think I want to make this B here. Okay, it has applied those changes now. I can set for D star. Do that. This is going to controls the OLED display on top of the device. So we'll make it that. That should be all we have to do there. It's going to be latitude and longitude of where this repeater, <laughs> it's kind of what we're making a digital repeater, will live. I'll fill that in later. Uh, radio modem type, I think. Default reflector. So this is B. This is fine. That means it's the 440 megahertz. And this is going to be the default reflector it's going to want to connect to. Reflector 001 Charlie is the international one. Which is fine. APRS host. Since D Star can collect your GPS information, I want to use that. This is going to be for a mobile one, so. See if I can find one in the US here. Indiana, I think, sounds good. That's English. Time announcements, that's where they broadcast the date and time, which I think is fine. Okay, let's apply those changes. Oh, this didn't take. Let's see. All right, so I got it all configured, more or less, and it is connected. I've got my this here ICOM ID fifty one A. I've got the hotspot programmed into it as a digital D star repeater. So, zero GEC listening on uh, one show. So you just heard that guy, and it comes up here on my dashboard, uh, right there. N zero GEC. He just came through. He's listening on reflector 001 Charlie. So it's acting as a repeater and it's coming through on my handout. Maybe I could make a QSO with this guy. We'll try it. KG5 OCW radio check. Okay, and zero GEC. This is Greg. I'm in Los Lunas, New Mexico. I just got finished building a hot spot and just soldered it together, and I'm testing it out now. 
Greg, it sounds like you've been all the good. It sounds really good here, loud and clear. Uh, it's not any distortion or R2-D2 on it. Everything sounds good. Enter JC. Okay, I appreciate it. Uh, my soldering skills have leave a little bit to be desired, so I'm glad it booted up. I'm, I'm putting together a video for our local club here, so you're my first, first QSO on that hotspot. I'm glad it's working. What was your location again? NG5 uh, uh, QCW, this is Enzo GC. Uh, George is a handle, and the QTH is Littleton, Colorado. Okay, Colorado. Well, then you're not too far from me. I'm down in New Mexico, but that's that's still pretty cool. We're on the on the global reflector, and the guys will get a kick out of it. So I do appreciate you coming back to me. N zero G E Z. This is K G five O C W. I'll be clear, and thanks for connecting with me. And there you go. It's as easy as that. We've got connection. Now I can either link to a D Star repeater from my radio here using D Star commands, or I can do it right here on this dashboard. If I go into admin, here it's got a pre built list of reflectors in here, so I can connect it. To the New Mexico reflector. We can do that here. 55 Charlie, I think, is it? F055 Charlie. And there you go, it's as easy as that. Now we're on the New Mexico D Star reflector. Anyway. I'll bring all this to the meeting. We'll try it out there.